greetings. Now just how bad can a 399 RCD from Amazon be? This is made by Wow Nan. I think that's how you pronounce it, as in Wow Nan, you've really bought some shit from Amazon this time. And how bad can it be? Well, to start with, it's got a plug that is not permitted for sale and use in the UK. Because according to the British standard, the S1363, there should be at least 9.5 millimeters of clearance there between the edge of the pin on either side and the edge of the plug. If you look at this adapter from an Apple charger, that's indeed what we have. Right down to the, to the millimeter, pretty much. This is more like three and a half millimeters. So that doesn't comply. And the fact it hasn't got a fuse. For those overseas, you'd normally have a fuse like this in the plug. And the plug doesn't have one. And neither does the RCD itself. So this shouldn't even be on sale in the UK. But we'll, we'll persevere and we'll test it just to see if it actually does work as an RCD. And we'll crack the plug off, see what the cable's like, and crack it open and see what's inside. So to start with, I need to wire the cable in. That's the cable wired in, and as you can see, there's no cord grip on this. It's got to rely on the lid being closed down and happening to be the right size to clamp the cable. So in this case it is, but if you, well, just about, but there ought really to be strain relief on that, and not just some crappy little cover screws. Right, the screws are on, and I've got a feed here which is coming from a socket which is on its own circuit. It's still RCBO protected, because all the circuits in the house are RCBO protected. But I'll try it on that anyway, and see if this trips before the RCBO does. <laughs> Didn't like that. It doesn't like a Q-check plug. That's interesting. Right, let's try it. Nine milliamps. So at least it does actually trip. Let's do that again. Yep, at least it's consistent, and at least it does actually trip. Let's take a look inside. I think that is actually copper, so they haven't used copper clad aluminium. Go. That's coming out. Some shape. And this is what's inside. All right. So the way this works with the mechanism, if I hold that spring in there, you can see that is holding the contact in place. If the trip coil goes, it will release. So it has let go of the button, and to to regain to re-grab that again, you're then going to push the blue button in so it'll lock here, and then it pulls it down again, unless the coil trips again. So that's the way that works. Here's a close-up of the board. And here's the schematic. I found a data sheet for that IC online. And they've pretty much followed the reference design to the letter, although they have got the line in neutral the wrong way round. It's an AC supply, so it doesn't really matter. At least it works. Well, it used to work. Hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.